Muslim community up north here uh, uh, observed some prayers uh, asking or requesting for rains from the Almighty Allah. Fortunately, uh, both parts have started experiencing the rainfall. Uh, unfortunately for residents in the uh, Kasungpe uh, community, uh, it did not come with so much good news because their homes uh, got flooded. And also the STEM uh, Senior High School at Kasungpe uh, equally got flooded. Yesterday, uh, when the team visited the uh, school, uh, some properties have been damaged already, and the uh, residents have blamed the situation on a road construction work that is ongoing in the area. The contractor uh, was called when the regional minister visited the area, and the contractor has since indicated that he's going to uh, construct a storm uh, drain there uh, so that uh, anytime it rains, the water will not go into the community or the school, but will go to a different uh, 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 diverted area. And so uh, residents have welcomed the idea. The regional minister has equally uh, welcomed the idea. For the headmaster, uh, this is not the first time the place has fl uh, uh, mm. flooded, and uh, he's appealing to the contractors to speed up with work so that it does not destroy uh, more properties in the school. Let's take a listen to what he's been saying. As at last year all, I reported this incident to the regional minister, the municipal chief executive. I've told all of them, even I think at a point in time, the first time we experienced the flooding year last year was on the 15th of March. That was when we had our first rain, very heavy, and the place was flooded. And I complained about the need to construct the culverts. Then on the 31st of March or so, I wrote a second letter. And so last year, like, we experienced a series of flooding, but not as serious as what we observed last night to this morning. Because last night to this morning, we had about almost six and a half hours of torrential rain. You can see that the water is still in, uh, flowing down from the northern part there. I was, we, we came out to... Christopher, we also know that the Northeast Regional Minister was there. What has he been saying so far? Yeah, so he's been giving assurances that uh, uh, the uh, Regional Coordinating Council, together with the West Montpellier Municipal Assembly, uh, would engage the contractor. And actually yesterday, the contractor admitted that he was coming to uh, ensure that he uh, uh, constructs some... Uh, storm drain so that uh, the water would not flow to uh, towards the school and the community, but it will be diverted to a different uh, place. The, the minister is happy with uh, what the contractor has said and giving the assurance that uh, work will commence soon. Let's take a listen to what he's also been saying. But as the construction of this road continues, every assurance can be given that this problem too will be fixed. More or less, flooding in passenger the STEM senior has been an annual problem. But over the last three years, since... We apologize for the poor audio. But Christopher, listen, so, so the people prayed for rain. The rain is here and it's now flooding their community. What are they saying about that? Yes, yeah, so they are happy that uh, the rains have come, uh, but they are not blaming uh, the rains for what has happened to the community and the school. What they are saying is that it is rather the fault of the con con contractor working on the road. Uh, that is why, as it stands now, the STEM senior high school and the community has been uh, flooded. They have been saying that if, if they get more rains, uh, they will be happy because uh, they've lived without rain for almost two to three months.